this is the bare minimum you need to solder together some LEDs. I have bulk three volt LEDs here. These are five millimeter sized. Soldering iron, some uh, liquid rosin, rosin core, uh, electrical soldering, little switch, battery box, uh, a wet uh, washcloth. When you first get a new soldering iron, this tip needs to be tinned. And what you gotta do is just wrap some solder around it like this before you plug it in. So that it'll properly load up. Set it down where it can drip safely and then plug it in. My soldering iron has lights. It's getting there. I'm going to put this rosin in a small ink cup for tattooing. a q-tip to dip it and put it on my wires the rosin is starting to sweat out now it'll liquefy shortly Now that this is dripped off, we want to wipe it clean. Nice and shiny. This is just an old telephone cord. I get them at thrift stores really cheap. And I just snip it like this and then you separate it like that and there's four wires in here black and red and yellow and green I've already pulled them out so here's one that I've already tinned I just use my nails to trim these like that. Twist it up like so. You can either dip a Q-tip and apply some rosin that way, or you can just dip it in there. And then to tin it, you just get some solder on your soldering iron now it is tinned two tinned wires can get soldered together quite easily you do not need to add solder for that I'm just going to twist these together they're both tinned now they're soldered together if you decide you don't like it soldered together you can get it hot again and then separate it. All right, so now we're going to build a circuit. On an LED, the long pin is your positive. I always bend it out. <clears throat> so we could ground this one and touch it to my power. I can wire it like that, or I can 
wire it like this and turn it off. So that's what I need to solder the powers for the LEDs to. So you need to tin your terminal like that. See, I put it in a little cup so I don't make a mess and then I still make a mess. All right, every time you're done using your soldering iron, you need to wipe it off like so. So I'm gonna add some more solder. And I'm gonna tin, tin this terminal just like that. So now I can hook my grounds together and turn my switch on. And my LED lights up. Let's say I want two of these little LEDs because maybe I'm making headlights or something. So I need to tin both of the leads on the LED, my positive and my negative. I put rosin on them. And then I load the soldering iron with some more solder. And you want to do that until you know you've got solder sticking to it. Just like so. Now remember to wipe it off. Now I'm going to connect this ground and this ground together. This one I have not even tinned. I'm just going to twist them together like that. I'm going to tin it, or I should say rosin. Now, I'm going to load up my soldering iron. They are now soldered together. I'm going to apply some tin or uh, rosin to the two points that I'm going to connect. Load up my soldering iron. So it'll work better if you can make it stay down. However you have to. Alright, let's give this another shot. Let it sit. There it is. Wipe off the soldering iron. Okay. Now I need to add a positive to go over. Which I have right here. Put rosin on it. Anchor that so that it'll stay down. I don't have enough solder. I normally put heat shrink tube over these and then I'll slide it down and then I'll heat it up with a lighter to protect these because if these cross and touch they'll short out and it won't work. This gets trickier if these are not twisted together. Because they will just come apart. So I'm going to twist them a little. So they quit bouncing around. It's 
like that. And get a little more solder. Two lights. Piece of cake. Very simple circuit. Buying this stuff in bulk. All of this probably cost me maybe three dollars, if that. I mean, I get a hundred LEDs for six. I think it was eight dollars for five of these. I don't know how much the batteries are. I got a package of like 10 switches for maybe another six to eight bucks. So it becomes cheap in the long run if you've got a lot to do. This is a parallel circuit where both the positives are wired to this positive. Both the negatives are wired to this negative. 